What's up, everybody? Jason from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're breaking 2020 Panini Contenders Baseball. This is Hobby Edition. Six box, half case break, random teams number two. There you go. Ryan, don't be, I mean, uh, Aaron, don't be sleeping on Prism, man. Prism's going to be the best one out of all of us. Uh, remember, this is number two, guys. Uh, number three has already been uploaded, so don't worry about that. This is break number two, though. We do have a couple combo teams, Marlins, Rangers, Orioles, and uh, Royals. 28 spots. Remember, no veterans. Commons will ship. And I believe you find six autographs per box. So there you go. So good luck. Here we go. Dice roller. Oliver down to Matt. And then D-backs, Nationals. And there's the two combo teams right there. So let's roll the dice. Two and a four, six times. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, sir, Dan. I'm ready for some Jalen Rigor for sure. Eric down to Tom Jones. There you go, man. Six times here as well. One, two, three, four. Five, six. <clears throat> Houston Astros down to the Cleveland Indians. All right, Eric, you have the Astros. Charles with the Cubs. Oliver with the Cardinals, Robert with the Tigers, Matt with the Twins, Fred with the A's, Matthew Gomes with the Mariners, Eric with the Rays, Anthony with the Yankees, Jason with the Red Sox, Steve with the Rockies, Matt, you have the Brewers, Dodgers, Reds, Padres, Brian with the Giants, Matt with the D-backs, Matthew Gomes with the Marlins uh, Rangers combo, Matt L with the Phillies, Matthew Gomes with the Angels, Fred with the J uh, Blue Jays, Isaac with the Pirates, Brian Crouch with the Nationals, Orioles combo as well with the Royals. Uh, Joe Pizzle with the Atlanta Braves, Eric with the Mets, Matthew with the White Sox, and Tom Jones with the Cleveland Indians. Very self-explanatory, Dan. Take a look, Dan, and you tell me and if you have stuff that I don't already. I'm looking to still get some stuff, but I'm only really chasing certain products. Damn, Anakin, you're breaking her heart, man. Nice. We'll throw off all you down. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry, um, Aaron. My Miles Sanders cards will eventually become available once he's the best running back in the universe. All right, he just wants the Indians. Or wants to trade the Indians if anybody else is here.
Ugh. That reminds me, I have to pull some photos. I'm like 90% complete with my Miles Sanders um, rainbow in, in um, mosaic. I just missed out on a on a pink fluorescent out of 10 the other day, and I was so pissed. I was breaking on Instagram, and I forgot my alert on my phone, and I didn't check it in time. I was so mad. So now I have to wait. And hopefully someone pulls one and posts one on eBay again. <sighs> Alright. Here you go. Alright, so this is the second half Joe had put on the table. Alright. Well, Dan, I loved Mosaic basketball when it first came out. I thought it was one of the best products ever. And when when uh, they decided to create football, I was like, I had to have it. If they have Miles Sanders colors, I need to have them. I would have done it if it was a rookie year. And since I don't really want to buy too much second year stuff, the second year that I'm only really going to buy is going to be, is going to be uh, Mosaic. And if anything, some prism and select color and uh, optic, if anything. But nothing else, really. And then just continue to load up on rookie stuff. So, Mosaic is just such a beautiful product. Uh, it's a purple season ticket. I don't know if these are numbered though. Are they numbered? No, they're just purple. Cade Cavalli. Draft picks ticket to 99. And who does this go to? I guess we'll look at the checklist, right? Is there a checklist that we we're going by? No, it'll be the team he's associated with. Whether it's minor league, etc., etc. Oh, nice. They do have a checklist. Here you go, guys. Here's a checklist for you guys, just in case as well. Yes, it is national. I just wanted to make sure. Thank you, TJ. Should be Is Joe still alive? Yeah, he is, Daniel. He just left earlier, that's all. He came in early, like at 11 to break till 7. Here's the checklist. Wow, okay. Randy or Rosarena. We're going to see a lot more of these, though, in Panini products. But not bad seeing more of those. Eric with the Tampa Bay Rays. Very nice. Sweet.
We got draft picks or draft ticket. Kevin Newman. We got Matt Mervis. Yeah. Chicago. Does it really, TJ? That's good, man. It's always better when you have a good checklist. Daniel Cabrera. The draft picks. LSU Tiger. So let's look at this dude really quick. That is Tigers. Uh, who you talking about here? Oh, Miles. Um, on that uh, that eighty yard run that he had against the uh, who was it against? Um, I forget where they played. Well, we had the eighty yard run. He landed on his knee and he had like a little like bruising, I guess in a way. So it said it was like a little, I guess ligament too, but more bruising, which was gonna keep him out one to two weeks. So I I honestly think that if the Eagles were playing anybody else but the Cowboys this week. I think he might have played this week, but since they have a bye week next week, um, why rush that? So he'll be back after the bye week, which I'm okay with that. Uh, Javon Ward, Milwaukee. No, it wasn't the Steelers game. It was, I forget which one it was. It wasn't that one. He had another 80 yard run the next week. Who did they play? Who did they? Who did they play? Not this past week against the Giants, but the week before. I forgot. I think the Ravens actually. It was the Ravens game. Luis Matos, up and coming. And Mick Abel. Uh, Phillies with that one. Dude, Miles' stats are pretty good. Honestly, he's just getting that small little injury bug. Or bug, I want to say. Um, dude, it was like, he was like fourth in rushing, and he missed like the first week. But he was like 16th in carries in the league. He was averaging six and a half yards a carry. needs to stay healthy out there. He's still in high school and he's signing? What a stud. There you go. That's the uh, Phillies. Yeah, you guys got him from uh, Dallas, I think? Man, Dallas is like really just throwing in the towel. That's why I, the Eagles better just come in and dominate like they, sh like they should. There's still so much talent on that team, but mentally, Dallas is just giving up. <laughs> Like, their offense is still so talented without having a, a good quarterback out there. I mean, their wide receiver core, wide receivers and running back is just something else. It's really their defense that's really bad right now. So, Eagles better come in and just take care of business. Watch Ben Donucci just tear it up. But the good thing is that the Eagles are getting healthier, per se. Peters. Or sorry, not Peters. Uh, Victor Vodnik. For Atlanta. Uh, Jason Peters coming back this week. Uh, Jalen Rigo coming back this week. Another couple of players as well. 
Lewis Thorpe, Alshon Jeffrey, I think will be back like next after the bye. So it's just starting to get healthy again. Rookie ticket, and that is going to go to Minnesota. Minnesota. And rookie tickets. That is very nice. Arcides Aquino. Out of 75. 20 out of 75. 1999 draft ticket variation as well. We, we, we don't need no more Detroit line receivers. We're good. We already got Travis Fulgham. <laughs> All right, who has the Reds? Matt, there you go. Abraham Thoto for Houston. He is though, man. But no, honestly, we don't. I don't honestly think we need crazy receivers right now. What we really need is a healthy O line and a good linebacker. Is really what we're really missing. That's what's really blowing, blowing, blowing up for us. Rookie ticket there, uh, Brian and Ray for Houston. Christian Yelich, out of ten. And Ryan Nelson for Arizona. Matt L with that one. No, I mean, it's true. I mean, we get a healthy line. I mean, I, you can never be fully healthy on a line. I, I just really think that's not possible. But at least have quality good line. You know. But it's just... They've just been so bad when it comes to injuries with linemen. Even tight ends. They're like on their fourth string tight end right now. It's amazing. Dude scored the other day. I didn't even know who he was. Like he was like a fifth string tight end like on the practice squad. What was his name? Swoops or something? I don't really even remember. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, Brandon Brooks is the one that really hurt us. Lane Johnson hasn't been really been healthy, but he's been managing, obviously, because he knows that Eagles need some of him out there. Um, Jason Peters, even Dillard's out for the year. I mean, Jesus Christ. Everybody's out. Saeed the McNabb. Hell no, Dan. That's my baby right there. That's my baby, man. I'm also completing the McNabb Ray Mobile, which I am very close as well. I'm probably like 94% close on that one. I'm closer than that one than I am, Miles Sanders. All right, next one. I know the person that's doing Randall Cunningham. That dude's really close, too. So, for Miles, I need the fluorescent pink. I need the true gold to 10, which I'm going to get it. I'm just trying to... Get this guy to bright, drop down his price. And the Peacock. That's it. I have every other one. And then for McNabb, I need the True Gold to 10. The Pink. I think that's it, actually. Uh, you can just type in 2020 Mosaic Football. And then I think um, you can see the players that the Eagles have. I think they have, what, Deshaun, McNabb, uh, Miles, Cunningham. Um, forget the other players. Oh, it has a, well, I mean, like, as in, like, from the set, you mean from the mosaic? Justin Foscue, draft pick. 
I'll take a look at that right now. Yeah, well, it's all the colors from Mosaic, the base. So the 101 Nebula I got, and the out of eight choice, and et cetera, et cetera. It's like a big list, but I'm only missing like two of them from Ignab, and I think three from Miles. It's the first year of Mosaic, and I just really love the I love the colors. I just wanted to do it this year, and then since Miles didn't, since the since 2019 class didn't have any mosaic last year, uh, Rangers for this guy. Uh, Miles is a second year, so close enough. I'm really more about colors, really, actually, though, Dan. I'm not really autographs are cool. Don't get me wrong, but for me as a collector, I, I love colors. It's just more better art to me. Dom Nunez. I remember I pulled you a, a Fletcher Cox. I just don't remember if it was from... It was absolute. I don't remember the set. Rookie Roundup for Colorado. Yeah, Fletcher Cox isn't signed too much, actually. So that is a really nice one. Out of 18. Dude, I even bought some women's NBA prism. It was so nice, guys. Did you guys buy any? Anybody personally at your local car shop? Keen, uh, Keen Wong. Rookie roundup for the Giants. I, I love that women's NBA prison. That stuff is nice. I got I got I got two Inescus. Very nice. You got an out of twenty five auto, Dan? What a nice one. That's sick. I just really wanted Inescu silver. Um and then I mean color would be nice, but I'm never gonna buy that. I have to pull it myself, but I think I might just buy a silver. I'm actually sending in our Inescu to grade tomorrow. <laughs> My base. So We'll see if that comes back a nice one. Jordan Walker. I'm sending in my Nebula McNabb, my Miles Sanders, my my uh, Zion Silver, uh, my LeBron Silver, and all those ones I have on my Instagram. I'm sending most of those into grade. Hopefully they come back gems. Jordan Walker. The two autographs that I got, though, I got Skylar Diggins autograph, which I think should be okay. Jordan. Walker Cardinals Yeah, well the Zion and uh, the Zion and LeBron Silvers are just more of an investment for me I'll eventually like get rid of those especially when the season starts if, if that Zion Silver comes back at PSA 10 I'm gonna get rid of it once he's just gets super hot I pulled that out of a retail box. I'm so happy. Nice, Smokey. That's cool, man. I mean, not that I don't love Weapon X, Brian Dawkins. Uh, I'm just I really just don't collect them too much so but I appreciate it I think Nick might be interested in that though Smokey he loves Brian Dawkins Westbrook and Brian Dawkins for him Texas Rangers with that one Zach Veen Colorado Rockies. I 
Well, Dan, I mean, honestly, you're just looking for, like, the centering on the left and right side of the prism cards. And then the rookie logo to not be off-centered. But I'm not I'm not a professional grader, man. There's stuff, too, that legit that the eyes, the human eyes can't see. You know? At the end of the day. There could be surface scratches that we just don't see. And uh, stuff like that. So, there's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff that factors into grading. But for Prism, I mean, especially if it's like the women's one you're talking about, right? Um, or any of the Prisms this past year. They, uh, you just got to make sure they're not too off-centered. I mean, some I've seen some crazy PSA 10s for Zion base and silvers, and I'm just like, what? Like, are you kidding me? Well, Dan, also too, man, if you're in, if you're not too sure either, there's, I mean, Facebook is a crazy world, but I can send you this Facebook group that there's this guy that, that, you know, obviously helps clean the car for you and he can give you a grade and he's like legit so accurate that he'll tell you on the spot what he thinks it should grade and then he'll send it in for you and it comes back usually what it says. I remember Sean sent me the... The link to that guy and he doesn't charge too much either I think it was like I don't even remember less than 50 bucks I mean there's it's a crazy world <laughs> Facebook will be your best friend when it comes to stuff like that Bobby Miller And for San Diego, this male. Men, what is that? Men, yeah. <laughs> no, I got you, man. No, I just mean that Facebook is a crazy world because Facebook groups when it comes to sports cards is just something else. Dude, I seen the other day someone like selling their cards playing Monopoly. I was like. What? <laughs> they had like a hundred people in there. Bobby Miller, Louisville for the Dodgers. No, I've seen roulette too when it comes to cards. Don't get me wrong, but that one was just like, just out of this world. That was just like Monopoly, dude. Are you serious? Okay, <laughs> I've seen roulette. Um, they have like a little roulette table, and they sell their cards that way and stuff. But it's just <laughs> Monopoly was like, how that do Monopoly takes like so long to play? <laughs> Sam Hented. I do not, Dan. I'm actually really not a crazy gambler. Believe it or not. Drew Romo. And a 75. Uh, <laughs> Explain to me what this... CC roulette is though. I'm very interested. Rockies with this one. Oh, is that one like the person you flip them backwards? And is whenever whichever the waiter is that what it's called? Whenever the, whatever the waiter picks is, is what they what you have to pay for? Okay, I've seen that before. I don't know that's what it was called. <laughs> so tell me this. However many times you did it, Dan, how many times did you have to pay? And if, if, if you didn't do it multiple times, was there people that legit had to pay multiple times? Like, were they just screwed? Out of 99 draft tickets, Brian Abreu. Okay, 10 times out of what? Yeah, 
Gary Mitchell. Woo! One on one. Shun Yamaguchi. Plate on card for Toronto. Winner Fred. Very nice. So, so wait, so hold on, hold on. So, at least 10, but you won one time? So, meaning you won is that you had to pay? Is that winning or is that losing? Gotcha. All right, two more boxes, guys. Really? I don't remember. Sounds familiar though, the name Raincon. Man. So the, we're talking we're talking like fancy dinners. We're not talking like uh, let's go boys to Taco Bell and try this 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 credit card roulette. <laughs> or uh or like a Maloa in like Olive Garden. <laughs> we're talking like we're talking real, real restaurants. That's that's cool, I guess. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Yeah, 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 no, I got gotcha. you. That's cool, man. That's fun. I'm sure you had fun, though, right? All right, next box, guys. Yu Chang rookie ticket. Very nice. San Francisco. Going to Brian Crouch. Francisco. Francisco. Devi Grulon for Philadelphia. Philly's going to Matt. Graphics means Brandon Lau, Tampa Bay. I know, right? We should. Should like uh, have a little tourney here in the store, right? Buy in whatever. Someone wins. I don't know. Patty Mahomes RC or something. I don't know. I've seen people do that at their card shops. Like they give away like a they give away like a autographed jersey or something or a high end card. And what do I get, Dan? If you. Uh, Oh, do they really? Joe, Bo Jackson? Uh, Joe Jackson? Oh, back. oh, cool. Thank you, man. Even though I announce it, don't worry. I mean, the, the shipping team will see it on the back. If it does say a different team. We don't sort by the front. Sort by the back, but... Yeah, they would have seen the back say Cleveland. Sorry. But yeah, we always sort by the back when it comes to this. But thank you, though. I know it probably seems more confusing. But yeah, guys, don't think that if I say the, the wrong team, it's going to go to that team. It still gets sorted out. So even if I make a mistake, it'll still go to the right team. And this Oscar Cola says international. So everybody might have a shot at this one. Yes. There you go. Everybody have a shot at that. And we have for Miami. 
Nick Dider. Or Deirdre? Or Nider. Sorry. You got Mahomes R out of seven? What, what is that? No, thank you, man. I appreciate that. And Austin Hendrick. One card. Reds. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. I know what you're talking about. Yes. The one where he wrote, he had the rookie. Jersey on, where it says rookie on the back. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I, I don't know how. I mean, I think they're paid followers. But. Did you guys see the Johnny Manziel that like he was trying to win, but somebody, <laughs> he lost it on eBay? <laughs> he was trying to. Trying to win the Johnny Manziel that Leaf came out with, where he inscribed F Darren Ravel with the whole word, one on one, and he and he lost the bid. Someone outbid him. <laughs> I was just laughing when I seen that. Nick was like, Nick was like, man, I'd buy that from, I'd buy that. So now he's trying to find, I think. Who won that card and trying to bite off of him? No. Sam Hilliard. That's a nice little rookie ticket. And Wagus Pack for Toronto. Redemption. Jake Fraley for Seattle. Danny Mendick. Draft ticket at a ninety nine. Luis Castillo. And Willie Castro. Alright, is this a Luis Robert? Is Luis Robert in this? Oh, so Dan, you want to trade my McNabb Nebula for that, that Patrick Mahomes? I'm down. That that, that, Mahomes, that uh, McNabb cost me, cost me a pretty penny. Cost me a pretty penny right there. I can't replace the goat. That's right, Dan. It's not even worth it, bro. It's trash. Come on. Just trade it. Alright. Let's see what this redemption is. Retro nineteen ninety eight. Rookie building blocks ticket Card number six Yes We found him Luis Robert Very very nice retro 1998 rookie building blocks ticket There you go guys Luis Robert 
And that is for the Chicago White Sox and Matthew Gomes. There you go. Very nice, guys. So everybody will have a shot at this, guys, as he's international and everything else went to their teams. And if there was a prospect, um, I put uh, I don't even know. I'll put the little sticky note on the back for the shipping team. So there you go, guys. Uh, so let's quickly randomize this and see who's going to get that. Everybody will have a shot at it. So let's get the customer names. Oh, nice, Dan. I hope everything turned out okay. Uh, four and a six ten times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it was a 10. I was tripping out. 10 times. Matt, last ball mojo. There you go, man. So, appreciate you guys. This was Contenders Hobby Six Box Half Case Break Round Teams number two. Number three is in the store. Fresh case. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Oh, wow. Okay.